Tonight on the world's craziest videos, you'll see reporters buried in their work. Parachute bowling demonstration. Breaking news. And anyone got a light? No. Nope. And that's all in a jam-packed show that you won't be able to take your eyes off. Welcome to the world's craziest videos. We've selected the best bloopers, the daggiest home videos and the funniest TV commercials from around the world and put them all together to make one huge show. So if you're tired of watching flawless acting, well-behaved pets and perfect athletic performances, then you've come to the right place. Now, one thing I get tired of is having my favourite TV show interrupted by special news bulletins. Just when you're about to find out if Al from Home and Away is in the running for Bachelor of the Year, fingers crossed, some reporter's head pops up to tell you that Prince Charles has twisted an ankle playing polo. Now, surely that could wait for an ad break. So let's see how those annoying TV reporters go when the shoe's are on the other foot. Another dangerous game kids play. OK, reporter girl, interrupt my TV show, will you? Boy, actually... Now, there's no question that floods are very bad news, but for this reporter, the news is about to get worse. And thank you very much. Uh, this man has just smashed into my car. Great. Live TV at its finest. He's diverted around. He's just smashed into my car. Have a nice day, sir. English reporters are known for being cool under pressure. They're not known for their sense of humour. Please go away! <laughs> So the battle lines in this dispute have been clearly drawn. The developers say this plan will enhance the air. One of the great things about being a TV reporter is being recognised, having your adoring fans come up to you and ask you to take a photo. We'll have the tricky task of deciding who's right and who's wrong. <laughs> ben Birch, BBC Look East, Woodbridge. One of the bad things is... <laughs> when they don't want you to be in it. Two seconds. It's, uh, I'll, come and, I'll come and take a picture for you. Ouch. <laughs> At least that guy only had his ego crushed. For this Russian reporter, it's a little more. I three years I served on the Oh, oh, oh! Thank God his mullet broke the fall. <laughs> and for those of you who were a little concerned, don't worry. Apart from a slight dent, that bookcase was fine. <laughs> now, what is it about weddings that makes your funny old Uncle Keith and former school friends with two left feet suddenly think they're the world's greatest dancers? Well, two words, free beer. <laughs> now, let's say you're at a wedding and you're a little bit shy. Well, here's what to do. Pull your shirt towels out, wrap your tie around your head, and grab a jug of beer. Then it's off to hit the dance floor. <laughs> Weddings are a great opportunity for old married couples to show off the strength of their relationship, their eternal love, their undying passion, and their unwavering support. Now, when you're doing some fancy dancing like that last couple, it's easy to see how you could fall. But when you're hardly even moving, how does this happen? In some countries, it's traditional for the bride to be given away and for the groom to be, well, thrown away. Here's the father of the bride doing an impersonation of jazz legend Dizzy Gillespie. And while he may not have the musical talent of the great Gillespie, 
He's certainly got the dizzy part down pat. <laughs> Weddings are usually a great place to meet a new partner. But if no humans will dance with you, sometimes you have to improvise. The good news for this bloke is she's single, skinny, and very tidy. <laughs> for the parents of newlyweds, letting go of your child can be a painful experience. Really, really painful. Ooh, that did look like it hurt. But the good news is Mum has no memory of that whatsoever. When we come back, a home improvement step you may just want to skip. Thank you, look at it. And putting highlights through your hair. The old-fashioned way. So make sure you stick around. Welcome back to the world's craziest videos. Now, I love watching those home improvement shows, and they're as popular as ever right around the world. But from these outtakes, it looks like some of the show's so-called experts could use a little improvement themselves. Got some light fittings, the kind of thing that if you ever went on a, um, <laughs> inclusive trips. <laughs> On a US TV shopping channel, you can get your dad this great new tool for about $60. Of course, if you want one that actually works, it's probably going to cost you a little more. Some presenters never make mistakes. Fortunately for our show, their camera crews are happy to help out. Now, the three rules for cameramen are one, never lose focus, two, be seen and not heard, and three, Avoid falling into pools. A new camera, $74,000. Looking like a goose in front of your mates, priceless. Here's a little home improvement quiz. While they screw in the new cabinet door, let's see if you can spot the little mistake. What was it that you and she really didn't like before? Everything. If really? it's too plain, then uh -huh. there's nothing. Had it just always been like that? Never been changed. Have you done something wrong? Oh, Jimmy! Look at that! I'm telling you what we're doing, didn't I? It was good, though, didn't it? See the way you see a room. So, did you spot the problem? Yeah, that's right. The handyman wasn't very handy. Now, while that poor woman probably wants new tradesmen for her next birthday, not everybody gets what they ask for, as you'll see in this next batch of surprise party home videos. Whoever it was who came up with the concept of one candle for every year... <laughs> ..should probably rethink it. Are we? Are we? Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Apart from being blinded by the light, the problem with cakes like this is they often lead to the arrival of uninvited guests. <laughs> Otherwise known as the fire brigade. <laughs> and what does this girl want for her birthday? I'm thinking hair extensions. <laughs> okay, a cake with candles and a paper roof over it. <laughs> so what do you reckon this birthday boy is looking for? Maybe smarter parents? Well, it's Grandpa's birthday and the whole family is hungry for some cake. <laughs> okay. How about some fruit salad instead? <laughs> you know the old saying, you can't have your cake and eat it too? <laughs> well, this kid's having a red hot go.
OK, big breath and make a wish. I wonder what he's wishing for. Good chance it's for some new mates. Oh, that poor guy. How was your party, Ken? Not so good, I got beaten up by my cake. Now, without a doubt, the most effective commercials on TV are the ones that really stand out in people's minds. And the ad we're about to show you is a standout in more ways than one. Certainly looks like spring has sprung for that guy. When we come back, human speed humps for parachute. A holiday romance you probably wouldn't write home about. And some English cricketers go fishing. So don't go anywhere. back to the world's craziest videos. Now, I'm told there are three qualities you need if you want to become a successful fisherman. Intelligence, casting technique, and of course, patience. Now, some people are lucky enough to have all three of these qualities. Others two, some just one. Then there are these guys. <laughs> you know you're struggling romantically oh, boy, when even the bro. fish you try to kiss Gives you the brush off. <laughs> you don't have to work. <laughs> now, to catch a fish, you can spend thousands of dollars on rods, reels, and fancy tackle. Or you can just head down to the creek with an old bathtub, an oar, and no bait whatsoever. <laughs> And if your wife wasn't impressed with that, she probably needs a closer look. <laughs> Bill Dance has had his own fishing show for over 30 years. Give him another 30 years and he might just get it right. <laughs> yep, if you had that much experience, I'm sure you'd be able to hook your own foot too. What else is going to happen? Get me out of breath. After decades of fishing, Bill's learnt that the best type of bait are grubs, worms, I got my hand. and, of course, middle-aged men. Come here, come here, quick. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got my hand. I can't get my hand. Uh, where he cut my thumb up. Uh, he's got it. He's biting too hard. Uh, get, turn loose. Uh, uh, God. You wet, you to bust you. Man. Boy, he bite too. But the one thing you can say about Bill is that he's always cool in a crisis. Here we see him calmly untangling his line from a tree. Man, <laughs> Yep, nerves of steel. So there you have it. American fishing guru Bill Dance. A danger to everything around him. 
Except the fish. Apart from maybe a fishing holiday with Bill, most vacations are a great way to relax and unwind. For over 400 years, this Italian villa's reflecting pool has been an oasis of tranquility. Then just last June, Kelvin Moore of Dubbo, New South Wales dropped by. There's so much to see when you travel, it's important that your eyesight is 100%. But if you're a little short-sighted, just borrow a pair of glasses from a mate. <laughs> the best thing about escaping from the big cities is that you don't have to worry about being knocked over by cars. Just horses. Sometimes it's tough to meet people when you're travelling. If making small talk in a bar or on a bus tour doesn't work, you can always pick people up on a beach. Don't worry, don't worry, okay. he's OK. That's him smiling with what's left of his teeth. Now, if you're ever travelling and you've left your face washer at home, don't stress out. You'll find the locals are always there to help out. Ah, uh, a trip to Italy, the Colosseum, the Leaning Tower, the canals of Venice. There's so much to see. No wonder people's eyes are popping out of their heads. Now that couldn't be good for your contact lenses. Oh. Coming up, we see an elite search and rescue team spring into action. So this is a one-of-a-kind piece. Plus a rare antique. Light accurately. But... Becomes a little more affordable. Oh, my God. So stay tuned. Welcome back. TV can be very instructional. From the comfort of your very own living room, you can watch hundreds of experts performing perfect hands-on demonstrations. But for these next clips, my advice is to sit back, observe, and do exactly the opposite. The sleeping accommodation, hundreds of tightly packed hammocks, true to the design of the original ships. Want to know how to Just leap into a hammock? Into. <laughs> we'll get back to you. Riding a toboggan is just like riding a bike. Once you've learnt, you never forget. Maybe not. Bear spray is really a pepper spray. Very powerful. Goes about 10, 20 feet at least. American animal expert Jack Hanna pretty much wrote the book on how to protect yourself against wild animals. Unfortunately, his book didn't include a chapter on judging wind direction. You go like this. I don't know if this spray will turn away a 300 kilo grizzly bear, but it's certainly a turn off for a 62 kilo reporter. It's dangerous, yeah, put your eyes out. That's what the guy told me to do. What the directions are. I'm not thinking about it right. Rinse my eyes, please. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. It says, rinse your eyes out with salt water. How far away from camp? The great thing about watching television is that you get to see things you'd normally only ever see inside the world's great museums, like this one-of-a-kind priceless antique. This is the actual first phonograph designed by Edison for public use. This is the world's first rotating media. You can see it's an Edison record and they were made one at a time so this is a one of a kind piece there's no other one like this particular one in the world and you can see the tracks go this way and um, it's really cool because it it records much more accurately than oh Oh, my God. Um, well, that does happen every uh, once in a while. Now, that was a one-of-a-kind antique that deserves to be seen for a second time. It's much more accurately than... Oh. 
And sadly, that was the end of a very promising career. Well, tonight we've seen some fantastic bloopers from all over the world. But when it comes to embarrassing moments, we Aussies can match it with anyone. And who better to prove this than our national icon? They've got a very form of a very different form of reproduction where they have to carry a large load for about a year, uh, but it appears to be free. All tied up with a fishing <laughs> Watching. I'm Holly Brisley. See you next time. But I'll leave you with one last look at someone who won't be making an appearance on Dancing with the Stars. Good night, everybody. Yeah.